Hey everyone, welcome back to Clone Evolution. Sorry today's episode is going to be a little bit down the gutter. I've been getting yelled at the whole day. And yesterday I worked my ass off and stayed up till full in the morning to try to finish all the work. And most of it failed. <laughs> I had some good news. Everything was starting to go good. And then my fucking roommate has to just ruin everything. Not to like be the victimhood blaming them for everything that goes wrong, but holy fucking shit. Like I'm literally staying here, not working, so I'm like losing $30,000 a year to help look after my uncle, and I just get yelled at the whole time. It's like you think you'd have some fucking respect for someone sacrificing their fucking life. for, And then she collects all the money from the government. So she's just sitting back, collecting all the money, well, I fucking do all the work and I get bitched at the whole fucking day. Going, oh, I'm going on strike. It's like, go on strike. You don't do anything. You have to do something to go on strike from it, you know? <laughs> it's like, dear God. You know what it all started with? Fucking hoarding food. Buying so much food, we're getting fucking rats because we don't have enough place to store the food. Like, you know, you got to stop buying food. A, it's all going to go bad. None of us are going to be able to eat all this before it goes bad. B, it's fucking attracting rats. So then she starts yelling at me. You're being so mean. It's like, well, I'm being fucking realistic. I'm sorry if it appears mean to you. And then she's like, stop yelling. And I'm like, you want me to yell? I'm talking in a normal voice. I can talk a lot louder than this. Trust me. <laughs> You guys who probably know when I'm yelling, I can yell, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. I was, like, thinking maybe I should go on strike. See how you like lifting him. You can't. <laughs> I don't want to do that to my uncle, but, man, holy shit. It's like, talk about people treating you like garbage when they get their whole lives handed to them on a fucking silver platter. Go on and on how hard they have it. It's like, oh, yeah, you have it hard. It's like, did you spend the prime of your life fucking looking after disabled people for nothing? I don't think so. You were off getting married, having kids, going on vacations all over the world. That's what your fucking hard life was all about. Milking fucking union money that my generation would be fucked for. God damn it. Now, I really don't know how long this situation's going to go for. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go move up north and stay in my abandoned house. I won't have any internet. Won't have electricity, running water. It's going to be fucking rough, but I'm really facing homelessness now. Thank God I didn't build that fucking shed in the backyard. That would have been all my money gone, and I wouldn't have been able to stay there. I would have still got kicked out. Yeah. So that's one good thing comes out of bad shit, right? Like, thank God. Yeah, I really don't know what's going to happen. It'd be interesting to see. And that's one thing I found out about Canada's internment camps. Maybe if I get sent to those, at least I'll have a place to stay. <laughs> oh, well. Who knows, maybe one of these days I'll meet a Clone Evolution player that's in Toronto and has like a room to spare. That I wouldn't have to live in a fucking nightmare for the rest of my life. Be like, oh, you don't want me to hear help laughter of my uncle? See ya, have fun. See how good your striking works when you don't do anything. Alright, so Suki wants to add me as a friend. I think someone messaged me and said it's a gay guy. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. Really, I don't care. It's not like we're going to run into anyone in real life anyways. Fucking lockdown's going to have us in social isolation probably for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe going up north ain't so bad, because then I could go outside a lot and not have to deal with all this fucking bullshit. I don't even have fun playing disc golf anymore. It's kind of a shame, but... Oh, well. All good things come to an end. Now, maybe what I can do for electricity is go back to playing the game on my cell phone, but yeah... I won't be able to broadcast anything. I really should have invested into a laptop so I could record the stream from that. So when I become homeless, I can still be a YouTuber. 
I don't know, I've been homeless so many times in my life from my parents just fucking ditching me that really, it's nothing new. Whoop de doo. That's why you gotta be careful in life, guys. If you're if you treat people nice and you're nice and you do stuff for them, they'll just take advantage of you, even your family, and they'll just fucking throw your life in the gutter and stomp all over you and not give two shits. So yeah, joy. I guess the the good thing is that I have a family. Some people are probably bitching and saying, "Oh, they don't even have a family to to have that problem." So it could be worse. Holy shit, 180. It's funny, all these characters I should be able to wipe out easily. Let's give it a try for the whole of it. It's always that crime fighter. He's so unbalanced that, man, he could just beat my whole team on his own. I don't know why the game made him so unbalanced like that. They thought it was cool, maybe. I hope everyone else is doing well. I had so much good news, it was starting to cheer me up, and all it takes is fucking one person to just ruin it for you. Now, I got my weight goal down to, what was it? I think 201 or something, let me check. It's funny, it's saying I've got no apps running, but yet it's running an app or I wouldn't be able to be looking at it on my screen. Lying pieces of shit. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a quick look at it. Yeah, I made it to 206. But according to the scale, it's all muscle loss. <laughs> Which kind of sucks balls. Not in a good way. Yeah, I guess I should go to the other screen. In case I got pictures of boobs that show up. I can't believe their team beat me, you fucking horse shit. I should have made Jane Austen the tank, she would have beat them because they can't even hit her. Yeah, I'll try that next round. I don't know, with how fucking garbage everything's been going lately, I don't really care about losing a clone evolution anymore. Alright, so, so far from the first two plants, managed to harvest about two pounds. The first row is the sativa, second row is the indicas. As you can see, I shrink wrapped it all, but some of the bags burst. And I was like, fuck it, man. I'm so tired yesterday. I just threw it in the freezer. I'm like, I don't care. Burst all you fucking want, you piece of shit. <laughs> all right. Now, I think I made a huge mistake apologizing to my roommate yesterday because I had nothing to apologize for. She should have been the one apologizing to me for fucking hoarding the food and attracting rats in her house. But no, I apologized. And now because I apologized, now she's going crying like a fucking spoiled baby saying she's going on strike. It's like, strike, you don't do anything. Alright, 38,022. Let's roll. 38,037. Woohoo. Sorry guys, I'll try to get more optimistic, but as you can tell, today is a fucking shit show. Yeah, I don't even care. Lose characters. Doesn't matter to me. 
You can go fuck yourselves either way. Alright, let's try Jane Austen as the tank. See if it does any different results. Yeah, I wish Uncle Joe could, like, land some freezing. Oh my god. What the fuck killed Wright Brothers? Was he poisoned? Yeah, that's what it was. Fucking stupid fucking poison. I can't stand Crime Fighter, man. They should remove him from the game. I know as soon as I unlock him, he'll be useless. I won't be able to use him anyways. I'll be all red heroes by that point. So I'm so fucking sick of looking at him, man. Like, he's the one character that fucking ruined the game for me and makes me want to quit. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you stupid level. Piece of shit. There's no way that team should be able to beat me. All my heroes are better except for that fucking stupid crime fighter. Man, I'd really like to go back in the show and find out what it was that fucked me over from getting the crime fighter. I could have swore I had two of them and only needed one more. Then when I got him, he was gone from my inventory. I never found out why. I should have messaged customer support. I'd be like, yo, I had two crime fighters. Got another one today, and now it says I have one. Where the fuck is the second one? Piece of shit. Yeah, I'm just skipping this. I don't even want to look at this game. Nah, sorry guys. I know a lot of people are posting that they're going to join my guild and stuff, and I don't know. We'll see how this fucking situation goes with my roommate. I could be homeless by the fucking end of the week. So, yeah. Can't really guarantee that that whole guild thing's gonna happen now. Now, really, I, what I should do is take the money that I have now, just get another apartment. Well, that's the thing. You can't even get an apartment. Because in, in order to get an apartment, you have to show them that you have a fucking a stable income. Which I don't. Looking after my uncle for the past year and a half has basically made my income non-existent. So even though I have enough money to pay for the rent up front for like two years, still, I can't rent an apartment. So, yeah, it's really, I could be homeless with lots of money. That will be interesting. Guess I'll have to stay in hotels or something, maybe. I'll have to try to find a long-term hotel to stay in. It's probably for the best, because then my uncle will end up in a home and die. And then my mom will fucking lose her house and end up in a home. Hopefully die. No, I shouldn't say that. It's mean to say your fucking parents and relatives should die, man. But it's either I that or I turn homeless, right? So it's like, it's kind of a fucking shitty situation to be in. Alright, let's play this. I unlocked it. No, it's really come to the them or me situation, right? It's like, I can keep trying to help people that don't seem to appreciate my help and just take advantage of me. Or I can just fucking abandon them all and let them die. It's like, not like I'm gonna kill them, but I can assure them once they land in those fucking old folks' homes, they're not gonna last. Yeah, I know, it's like one of those dogs that bite the hand that feeds it, right? Like can try so hard to keep feeding that dog, but if it keeps biting you, can you really continue to feed it? Now I think of how many times my parents have screwed me over in my life and, and intentionally gone out of their way to make my life a living hell. I remember the one time I had a real estate deal with me and my brother. I fucking worked for years and years to get approved by the bank. Finally got approved. My brother was approved. And I had the fucking deposit amount, and my mom promised to help my brother with the deposit amount. But then she found out that I liked the house that we picked to move into. So she decided to withhold the fucking money from my brother, and I almost lost the fucking deposit. Can you imagine if your parents did that to you? Like, would you even speak to them again? It's like, I really shouldn't have. I should have just cut my ties there and said, you want to go to your way to make my life a fucking living hell? Then I shouldn't even be speaking with you anymore. 
No, and then the real estate agent, he called me a year or two later, and he's like, you know that house you guys fucking almost bought? It's worth triple the money. So I would have been a fucking millionaire today. And I could, like, thank my mom. It's like, thanks, mom. It's like, you fucking completely fucked my life. It's like everyone's like, oh, your mom gave you fucking life. No, women give all people life. It's nothing special. It's like, oh, they're so amazing. They brought you into this world. But yeah, that's their fucking job. It's, it's what calling being a mom is. I, I really wish mom would have just put me up for adoption. I never had to see her again. The way she fucking ruined my life. I should have just, first time I went homeless, never fucking came back. It's like, fuck that. Do everything on your own. You can see how long you look after the house before you end up in a fucking old folks home. Oh well. Sorry guys, I don't want to be bitching the whole show, but it's a fucking nightmare shit show today. It was all day yesterday too. That's another reason why I couldn't record on time. Now that's actually when I first started doing podcasting. I had a good role going. I was getting episodes done. People were liking it. My channel was growing. It was over. I was over 800 at one point, even higher than I am now. And then my mom just started fucking yelling at me every day, every fucking day, non-stop, all day. Like every 10 minutes to come and bitch. And it made me so depressed that I couldn't even fucking record anymore. Because I'm like, I need to be able to speak properly. If I'm so depressed I can't even speak, I can't do the show. So another case where she fucking ruined my life. Oh well, I think maybe that's what I do. I will go on strike for two to three days, and after my uncle's been sitting in his own shit and piss for three days, I'll be like, so, how is that going on strike working for you? See how it works when I go on strike? A little bit of a difference, isn't it? Someone's actually doing something. Fuck. Yeah, it's so mean, but I'm really thinking, like, if I don't do that to my uncle, then I'm just gonna have to leave, and he's gonna end up in a home and dead. So it's like, I really need to go on strike and let him sit in his own piss and shit for a few days. Yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to do today. After I log off the game, I'm going to start looking for a new place. And I'll try to find a place that'll let you prepay a year. Oh, who am I kidding? Rent my city's gone up so high, I don't even have enough for a year anymore. Would have been enough for a year a few years ago. Yeah, what is it? $2,000 a month for a one-room apartment that has no bathroom? You have to share it with everyone else on your floor. Fuck, man, I can't believe how our government screwed us with rapid inflation. Like, just a few years ago, you could rent a fucking three-bedroom apartment for $300 a month. Now we're at two grand for a fucking one room with no bathroom. People are like, oh, inflation isn't that bad. It's like, isn't it? It's like, it's fucking unreal how fucking expensive shit has gotten. Yeah, so that's really the only choice I got. Go up, up north and stay in my fucking abandoned house. I've actually been having dreams about staying there, so I was like, man, maybe that actually is going to happen. My uncle will be dead. My mom will die. And then me and, then me and my brothers can split the fucking shit. I tried as long and as hard as I could. Your mind are the gutter. <laughs> oh well. I tried. That's all I can say. I, I really did try. But sometimes things are just beyond what you can handle, right? Yeah, it'll be interesting to go up north too, because when I get there, there's going to be a whole bunch of people trying to beat me up. I got a warning from the, the real estate agent that everyone's going crazy with the lockdown rule, so when people come from out of town, they like beat you up, or at least like try to kick you out of town sort of thing. So I was like, holy fuck, man, I can't even go to my property. 
same thing with the inner cities here like Toronto they're starting to like isolate them so if your ID says you're from Toronto you're not allowed to go in any stores or restaurants so I can't believe the way the government has turned people against each other well it makes sense because they're fucking everything over so bad that if everyone realized how bad they're fucking them over they would do something so instead they turn the people against each other Now, I watched the presidential debate last night. Oh my god. I, I feel sorry for the states worse. Like, as bad as Justin Trudeau is, the choice between Biden and Trump, it's like fucking a choice between cutting off your arm or your leg. I don't know how you guys managed to, like, have only those two options. Like, wasn't there, like, Dwayne Rock or Oprah or someone was supposed to run? Kanye? It's like everyone fucking bailed and just let Trump do it. You should really be ashamed of yourselves, like really, to go on and on about how much you hated Trump and then no one even ran against him that could win. It's like all you need is one celebrity. Any celebrity could have ran against Trump and you would have won. So why didn't any of them run? Why isn't LeBron James stepping up to be the next president? Fucking coward. Oh man. Oh well, this will be like the most negative episode ever. <laughs> See if I can top it again someday. <laughs>
Hey, maybe some more purples. Yay. Yeah, it's funny, I kind of think about it in life. Every time I've ever gone out of my way to help someone, it always backfires. People fucking end up taking advantage of you. Every time. Never fails. And it's like I'm an idiot. It's like I never learn. It's like I'm like, oh, maybe I'll be nice to this person and, and they'll treat me nice. No. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Alright, let's do some of the Bounty Hunter missions. I worked on them a bit yesterday to get some extra tokens. Alright, we got some decent token ones. I'm going to try to save all my bullets and just do the ones for tokens. And if I make it to a reward, great. If not, I'm just going to keep saving the bullets. I noticed that my lineup is absolute garbage. I don't know why they keep giving me this garbage lineup. Does anyone know how to change the default so I don't have to keep changing it over and over again every time I log in? It's kind of annoying. It's not even every time I log in, every time I start a bounty hunter mission. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. I'm going to spend the rest of today looking for a room that I can rent maybe for a year. I really can't go up north. It's not even an option. Unless I just bring a baseball bat with me if anyone wants to try to fight. Well, the only thing is all the people up north, they all have hunting rifles. So, baseball bat isn't really going to do much.
Man, I've heard the internet's really bad up there. I've never actually used the internet up there, so I don't even know how bad it really is. Now what I could do, I could even demolish my old garage myself. I've done demolition before. Demolishing a house is definitely out of my league, but demolishing a garage wouldn't be so bad. And hopefully I could pay Home Depot to drop off one of those pre-built garages just on the old slab foundation. Then I could talk to the, the hydro company and ask them to hook up the shed, at least on, to electric grid. The only thing I wouldn't have is a... Oh yeah, then I could buy one of those uh, electric washrooms. So I wouldn't even need plumbing. Now there's a guy, luckily, in Mississauga that developed a washroom that runs on just electricity. What you need is a vent. So you, you put a vent, and then you have an electric toilet. And every time it fills, it puts it into a tank, and then it uses electricity to cook it. And, like, boil off all the water. And then it burns the remaining two. So then afterwards you just have to enter or eggs or empty out a container of ash every now and then. So I was thinking, yeah, that's what I could do. Fix up my garage or get a new garage. Yeah, or maybe you try to fix the old garage. Just gut it and keep the frame and then rebuild that because I could do that on my own. God, I wish I had some help to rebuild my garage. I should talk to my buddy Curtis. He lives in Quebec. Yeah, he's been doing the whole, what is it, hermit thing, living in the woods. I think it's getting to him. Like, <laughs> I can imagine it would be like putting yourself in a forced isolation. But I don't know if he'd want a chance coming here and having to fight with people. So I might just do it all on my own, I guess. Now who knows, maybe this is just what I needed. It's like the Chinese farmer, right? Like I tried as much as I could to put up with this and went out of my way, always apologizing, even when I know that I'm right. But if you're always apologizing and the other person just doesn't accept it, it's like, well, what more can you do? It's time to move on, find something new to do. Better than fucking getting an ulcer and ruining my life here, that's for sure. Oh great. Fucking the team of stupid heroes again. Nah, it's probably for the best. If I kept staying here and just wasting my life looking after other people. Eventually, once they die, then I'll be old and no one will look after me. So I'll be like, okay, just spent my whole life. I should have been helping myself and instead of wasting my time helping other people that are just going to take advantage of you. Fuck that shit. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. Instead of looking for an apartment to waste money, you're going to have to find some sort of building crew that will help me up north. Maybe I'll put an ad in the local Kijiji there. Be like, hey guys, can I hire a few workers to help fucking do this garage? And if I get local workers and I'm paying them, maybe they'll help fucking bodyguard so that fucking none of the other people kick me out of town. And it's funny, the whole thing that was keeping me from going up north before was that I loved disc golf so much. But now that I don't even like disc golf anymore, there is really nothing left here to stay for. Times be changing. I had a feeling this is what was going to happen. I was going to be able to do the show until my fucking living situation got fucked. 
No. My mom and my roommates have always threatened to kick me out like at least once a month. So I always had that in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, I'm always on the, the risk of having being homeless any day. It's kind of a weird feeling to have when you have like nowhere stable to live. You're always thinking, dear God, I could have to pack up and leave everything tomorrow. You never know. Today's big plans are brought to you by Crack. <laughs> Crack, it'll fuck you up. That's good. At least the sponsor message cheers me up. Now, if anyone else is going through a down in the dump, down, down in the fucking gutter time, I hear you. I know a lot of people are probably losing their incomes, having no options at all, so I shouldn't be bitching so much. At least I have some choice. Going to live in a garage they'll have to build is better than no choice. Really, I should be doing this before winter. Fuck. It's already snowing up north, man. Yeah, that'll be really shitty, staying in a garage with no heat. I guess I have no choice but to rest. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'd go for it just in case I could get some tokens. Though I could have fought the elite enemy and doubled my tokens, probably got seven. But I think they're gonna screw me and not give me any wormholes two matches in a row. I know it's just screwing me by giving me zero vampires too. Now, I think the Halloween event has started because when I was checking the Clone Evolution page last night when I couldn't play the game, they were talking about the Halloween event. Yeah, who knows. I do got some friends up north. One of them almost died though, so hopefully he's still okay. I haven't talked to him since it's been quite a while now. I should really message him and make sure he's still alive. Yeah, he's one of my old buddies from high school. We met in her English class. Now, both of his parents died in the same year, and I think he took it pretty bad. And then eventually he ended up having a heart attack. He survived the heart attack, but he was off work for a while for it at least. Now can you believe that? They didn't give me any fucking vampires, no fucking shit. It's like pretty much a worst case scenario. I really gotta find a way to get rid of all my stuff. That's a weird thing in life, eh? When you realize that you gotta ditch all your belongings. What to do with them. It's like, what do you do? Just throw them all in the trash? I kind of feel like I should try to give it to charity of some kind. Man, a lot of my old stuff is just garbage. I just gotta accept that everything I own is going in the dumpster. That's why when you're young, be careful you don't collect a whole bunch of shit. 
Because man, does that ever come back to bite you? If I could go back and turn back the hands of time, one thing I would do, fucking never buy shit. Like, oh, all the stupid collectibles I bought, stored it for years. And then when I look at some of the other stuff I could have bought, like, could have bought a Bitcoin instead and fucking be rich, but no, bought stupid collectibles. That's why I laugh when I see people collecting like Hot Wheels or action figures or some video game collection. It's like you do realize all that stuff is just going in the dumpster one day. The odds of selling it is almost like a million to one. No one's going to want your garbage. Now they give me a warp gate when it's completely useless. Thanks. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. I was starting to get getting on a roll with the Sober October thing, getting so much done. Maybe that's how Sober October is going to end. I'm going to end up homeless at the end. Yay! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> at least uh, that's cheering me up. <laughs> yeah, that's what Matthew McConaughey was talking about yesterday. Going through his different ups and downs in life. It's always a roller coaster. No one ever really has it that peachy. Even these rich people end up with diseases that ruin their lives. Yeah, what he said is you just gotta try to wake up, tell yourself none of it really matters. We're only here for a few more days or years, you don't even know. And then we'll only be in the fucking grave. So you shouldn't really get too worked up over anything. Everything's going to end in fucking the grave, so what does it matter? No point getting down in the dumps over anything. Everything's just an illusion. Fucking horse shit illusion. <laughs> oh well, I don't care. Yeah. Now, when push comes to shove is usually when I rise to the top, so maybe that's what I needed to get my life back in order. Just fucking utter garbage to occur, force me to do something new. Yeah, I wonder if I can even travel up north. Did they cancel all the fucking transportation to get there? Alright, let's go check the limited event, see what's going on. Yeah, Sword God's the reward, and I don't need him for anything, so... At least it's no big... No big deal not winning it. I was thinking, should I do the 10 battles to get 5 tokens? Probably not. Seems like a waste. Might as well just save it up. No, no sign of the Halloween event, yeah? Maybe it's the other servers that got it first. I guess what's left, attack the guild instances. It's probably gonna crash, but I don't care. Now let's see if we can actually beat one for a change. That'd be weird. I haven't beat one in ages. Yeah, sorry guys for all the bad news today. I don't know how I'm gonna turn it around, but I'll try to find a way. Really all I need to do is fix up my garage and get internet to it and we'll be back to better than what I was here. I 
It's not like I really ask for a lot in life. Fucking roof over my head, internet. It's basically all I need. Self-sufficient for everything else. Now in a way I was lucky after saving up all the deposits to buy a house one day. When I fucking failed at getting the house, at least I still have the deposits. So that's not all doom and gloom. If I was completely broke, yeah, that would suck way worse. Did it say victory? I didn't even check. Yeah, it did. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I won't have to stop doing the show too long. Maybe I can rebuild my fucking life quicker than I think. Who knows? Maybe by this time next year I'll be laughing. I'll have escaped this nightmare and I'll have a new life. Nah, I feel bad about not needing to help my uncle any longer, but if I'm just going to get fought the whole time for doing it, it's not working. Alright, two purples for a change. That was kind of nice. Yay, something to cheer me up. It's nice, I didn't even have to use my purple gems. I thought I wasn't going to have enough. Yeah, it sucks, man. Today's the nicest, last nice day of the year. I'm so tired, I can barely even move. Got all these fucking fights and arguments to deal with. It's a shame people didn't treat me like garbage, I could be outside doing my fucking vlogging and getting my life back together, but I just have to fight with everyone else at the same time and I can't fight people and accomplish my goals at the same time. It's just too much to deal with. Yeah, I only got three or four hours sleep, so definitely tired as well. Yeah, that'd be a shitty thing. I won't have a freezer to keep any of my weed, so I'm going to have to find someone to give it to. It's all going to go bad. Oh, well. That's what I was thinking, if I end up homeless during Sober October, it'll be good, because maybe I can stay off the weed, and then use that as an advantage to, to try to get my life back together. It would be nice just to be able to smoke some weed and relax, but I don't see that coming anytime soon. That'd be good news too. So maybe if I can arrange some workers to help me work up north, then I can tell my mom and my roommates to be like, sorry. It's like I have to go up north now. I tried as long as I could. Alright, game crashed with 10 minutes to go. What a piece of horseshit. Alright guys, so I'm sorry, I'm just gonna wrap up the show here. Maybe I'll try to make up the the ending with the, the affiliate link stuff. Alright, so let's check out what's going on with the presidential election betting thing. Let's check in to see if anything changed. Yeah, and it did change. Oh, that's what it was. I was probably clicking on the other thing. So you can bet between Democratic or Republican you can see the odds for that. Fuck you, you piece of shit, man. 
Alright, so I click back. Did it go back to the thing I was at? No, it goes to the fucking Google homepage. That is not what back was. Alright, so there's another thing for the presidential election. Ah, oh, here it is. You can even bet on Bernie Sanders. Which is weird. Kanye West isn't on here. And I thought he was going to get the most votes. So I don't know. It's weird. Maybe he's counted in the others. Who knows? Yeah, what else has been happening? 46 people. Thanks, guys. Sorry if the show ends. You guys might be my only income soon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. A lot of people helping with the show. Hey, right, what else is there? Let's go to the affiliate links. Alright, guys, if you want to help my Patreon, now is probably the best time than ever because could be whether or not it makes or breaks the show. <laughs> If I get some people that all of a sudden made big donations to Patreon, then I'd be like, holy shit, maybe now I can afford to fix up my place up north and have a place to live. It's going to be close as it is now. Lucky I didn't waste that money on a shed. Oh my god, if I would have did that, that's what I was thinking the whole time. I'm like, every week or every month they keep threatening to kick me out. So I'm like, what am I, crazy? If I build this, I'm just going to get kicked out. So anyways, yeah. So we'll see, if anyone wants to help out with my patron guys, they probably need it now more than ever, but I know the every way everyone's fucked in the world situation, so I'd be kind of surprised if anyone actually even had the money to do it. So yeah, don't get too down the dumps, guys. If you can't help, maybe I'll find a way. I gotta find a way. <laughs> right, Society6 is my merch, and don't bother buying that to help me, because they don't even really give me any commission. The only thing they do is they, they sell it and they collect the commission, so... Yeah, if you want to help me, Patreon's the real way. Schwagbucks is still if you want to help yourself. They got the 1-5% to discounts when you shop online. And they also help you find the, the gift codes. So, yeah, it doesn't pay cash back, but in a way it gives you Amazon gift cards, which is basically cash back. You can even actually get more Amazon gift cards than the cash is worth, so it's technically better than cash. Alright, if you want to help out with Game Kit, that's pretty sweet. I noticed a bunch of people signed up. I don't know if anyone's had any luck. Let me know in the chat if you did. That'd be cool. Alright, uh, Hideo TV is the one where you can get paid to watch videos like YouTube. Except instead of giving all the money to the creators, they also give it to the viewers. So they split it. Which I think that's a better system than YouTube. Right, Bitcoin is kind of cool. It's the free lottery spins. It's like, hey, maybe if I win the Bitcoin lottery, then all of a sudden I won't be in a fucking horrible situation. Yeah, that'd be neat, eh? If I won even half a Bitcoin, I'd be, well, who am I kidding? Even a full Bitcoin wouldn't be enough to help. Yeah, and the biggest prize in the lottery isn't even a full Bitcoin. So yeah, even if I won the lottery, I'd still be fucked. And not in a good way. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to help out with the virtual made sex machine, I don't even know if I get anything for the referrals for that. Probably not. It's kind of weird, eh? It's like when you sign up for a company and they have a referral link, but they don't tell you anything what the referral link does. So yeah, who knows? Maybe the machine's going to arrive in the mail after I've already been kicked out, so I won't even get it. And even if I did get it, I probably won't have electricity, so I won't be using that thing anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, what else is there? Let's try to finish on a high note. <laughs> if you happen to get any horse shit in your vaporizer, <laughs> give the show a dislike. Because no one wants to vaporize horse shit. It's bad enough having to live in it. <laughs> right, and... Yeah... If you, yeah, just make sure to never buy the products from my sponsor, because your life will turn out like mine. <laughs> See you later. Take care. Have a good one, everyone. So I'll try to cheer up tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe my roommate will apologize to me or accept my apology. Wouldn't that be a fucking amazing? I can just keep apologizing for not being wrong. Maybe they'll accept it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now.
Here's three things. See you later.